My lords, ladies and gentlemen, as a life president of Norwood and the chair of the annual dinner, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you this evening. As you know, Norwood has provided family support and social work services to the most vulnerable men, women and children in London and beyond for 216 years. And you know, the truth is, it's never been tougher for the people that need Norwood. And I, for one, know that we can count on you to help us. I would say come and look at the Norwood Trust and what that has been doing in this city and in this country for 200 years. And look at the incredible amounts of money that Carol, all of you, raise and do fantastic things uh, for people uh, across this country. Look, look, for instance, at what the Norwood Trust does. Uh, for the uncle of my dear friend and colleague, Daniel J. Ritterband, my director of marketing. Dan's uncle was, uh, his parents were told uh, that Dan's uncle would not live uh, to see his fifth birthday. Well, he's now 65, he's in the pink of health, and he's cycling around the world, thanks to the Norwood Trust. Exactly a year ago, in this very room, we spoke of the immediate threats Nord faced in the wake of severe cuts to the government funding Nord had relied upon. From this very stage, we explained the immense challenges we faced in order to maintain the vital services and support Nord had always provided for the most needy. From this very lectern, we challenged you our Norwood family, to push yourselves even further than you had ever had, uh, ever had to secure our future and protect the most vulnerable members of our community. Twelve months on, Norwood is still here, still maintaining that promise to provide a safety net to those in need of our help and still working day and night to ensure that we never, never have to hold our hands up and say, sorry, we simply can't help. Now tonight, we are asking you to go even further to help us again. Quite simply, if Nord is to continue to protect in need of the support only Nord can provide, we need to pledge tonight. Our generosity will dictate how many families we can support through hardship, how many carers we can provide to help the men, women, and children in our community unable to care for themselves. Michelle's story is one of thousands that have happy endings thanks to our intervention. In pledging to Nord tonight, we are collectively saying to every Michelle in our community that we will be there for you. We will not leave you to struggle. We will welcome you into our Nord family and help you live the life you choose. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Michelle. Thank you. 
Norwood has been a very important part of my life. They've been really supportive towards Elise and I. With your help this evening, Norwood can give more people the gift of a better life. So please, take your pledge cards and give as much as you can for Norwood. Your generosity will make a massive difference to many lives as it has to mine. Thank you very much.